Let's turn now to CBS's Lonnie Quinn. Good evening, Lonnie. So is this threat over? No, no, definitely not. Nor what I want to do is take you right to the radar picture. I'll show you where it's not over. Now, we had a tornado come through Atlanta early this morning. If you take a look at the radar picture, that strong, that strong line of storms is now into South Carolina. South Carolina under a tornado watch. But look at this. Out around Dallas, uh, you don't see a lot of activity. It's just starting to spark up right now. Well, we really believe it's going to spark up big time tonight. Watch this flare-up from Fort Worth to Fort Smith. Sure enough, a chance for tornadoes tonight. That then pushes to the east by tomorrow, let's say sometime around lunchtime. Now we're looking anywhere from, say, Lake Charles up to Tupelo. We just heard from Jesse Mitchell how, how volatile it was there. Well, tomorrow afternoon could be a repeat performance. Then you get to, say, Tuesday night, anywhere from New Orleans up to the Atlanta area. Why? For such a relatively quiet April, one of the quietest Aprils we've had in 30 years, why is May starting off with so much activity? The jet stream is whipping. It's dropped well to the south now. It's running at over 100 miles per hour, and it's up around 5,000 feet. That pulls that air from the surface up. It then twists with the jet stream, and you get this risk for tornadoes. And, and listen, in Dallas, you started off your day not not really worrying about tornadoes kicking in. You got to worry about it now for tonight. That's the very latest. You got to keep your eyes on the sky. Let's go back to you, Nora. Right. Lonnie Quinn, thank you so much.